Uh, welcome to my demonstration video of my master's project on UAV drone assisted communication system towards 6G. Uh, my name is Mustafa Abdul Ghaffar, and in this project, I have used modern technology combining a drone and advanced programming as well as machine learning technologies to address the challenges in communication infrastructure. I started this project by trying to connect uh, the drone to the laptop to take advantage of all, all of the drone's features through the laptop and to have full control over the uh, drone through the laptop as well. Uh, so I could then try to process the video uh, and apply any of the technologies out there, uh, which I did. For those who don't know, uh, DJI Teledrone, uh, it usually comes with a mobile application to control it. Uh, I haven't had the chance to uh, use it because I was too focused on trying to take control over the drone from the laptop. Uh, I have developed two codes, one of them in Go programming language and the other in Python. Um, the Go programming language code uh, was used to first connect the drone to the laptop, second uh, use by using one of the, um, the OpenCV libraries uh, int integrated in Go programming language itself. It's called GoCV. Um, I managed to encode and decode, encode the video from the, from the drone and decode the video to the laptop to show on, on, on the screen. I have also managed to take con full control over the um, uh, drones movements and features and special moves uh, for instance flip to the right left forward and backward uh, these are the special moves and the basic moves like take off land uh, rotate to the right rotate, rotate to the left um, go right go left go forward go back all of these features uh, were, were included in, in in their libraries it was really easy to use and um, user friendly um so yeah i controlled fully controlled the, the, the drone over uh, from the laptop and it was all done on the first code i mentioned which is the go programming language i'm going to show you exactly how it looks like now and how it controls the drone and what is what what, what it shows from the laptop. and the second part was written in python in which i had loaded the video recorded from the um, I forgot to mention in, 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 in the Go programming language, I added one, one function that records the video and saves it in one of the directories. So I have a video, yeah, recorded from the drone to the laptop, saved. And then in the second code using Python, um, I will load the, the video recorded from the drone, from the laptop to Python code and does the uh, video processing in there, in which object detection was used, uh, object detection using machine learning and YOLO, which is uh, you only look once. That's the, that's the model I used. It was version four, and I'm gonna show you everything now. This is the first code written in Go programming language. These are some libraries that you keep include, like add to it, uh, the more you go. Uh, this is the frame size uh, chosen for the video. We'll start the, fu the, function, the main function by connecting the uh, laptop to the drone through uh, the port, this port number. Um, and this is what it says on the um, video display from, Go from GoCV. These are uh, the commands to start FFMPEG PEG, uh, for video decoding from the laptop, from, from the drone to the laptop. Uh, for those who, do, who don't know, FFMPEG is, is uh, an open source multimedia handler that handles uh, pictures, videos, uh, audio processing, any, any of these things. Um, so yeah, uh, the, this is a, fla as a flag used to uh, indicate whether recording is still active. Uh, this, is the work, this is the work function that has everything uh, needed. Uh, we're, we're starting the command, the FFMPEG command for video decoding, and then this is the event handler when connected to the to the teledrone. 
uh, it says connected to the drone when it when it only suc successfully connects to the drone these are the legend uh, I've did uh, for for commanding the uh, uh, the drone uh, if I write in in, in, in in the terminal up the drone goes up uh, but the drone has to take off first so when connected to the drone do you have to uh, command the drone to take off and then you can you, you can keep doing any of those in there um, uh, and then this is the cases that I've done uh, it's really easy you just write drone dot yeah it shows the uh, all, all of the functions written inside and if you want to know exactly what it does it's really easy i'm using here this is uh visual studio code you just right click go to definition it shows you exactly what it does how to do it what is the input should you put here and what it does in, in the driver uh so yeah i built like some cases uh if it up then hover hover means stops completely stops the drone because sometimes they would just keep moving randomly so by each uh uh, command I give from the laptop to the drone it stops and then and then goes up this here is uh, in terms of centimeters so it goes up by centimeters supposedly uh, the drone has like uh, two sensors that figures out whether she it, it, it's going closer to the ground or up to the ground um, D for down FW for forward backward land uh, uh, R is for uh, right T is for takeoff, L for land, or oh, the the capital is for for left, like it moves left left side, um, and same goes for this. This is a featured like a special move. It's keep it keeps bouncing until it stops. This here I I added to just to to stop, and this is the most important one that I've done. It's uh, a record function that records the uh the feed that shows on the laptop and if i click record again it stops and saves it, it on the uh uh on one of the directories uh the rest are functions related to the record function i don't want to get into it right now spent some time i spent some time trying to uh do it find find the the, the syntax for writing it so yeah that's it so this is the drone i'm gonna turn it on and wait for it to uh, to get ready for pairing yeah and then we have to connect from the laptop as you could see to tello now it's connected we're gonna write to go run dot then click enter We did that now. Uh, it shows what what the drone sees right now. Uh, I put it to the ground, um, um, and then we're just gonna give it a command T for takeoff. There you go. As you can see, if I write left, it goes left, and then stops. And then if I write record. Records start recording. I want it to go a little bit backward, then a little bit to the left, then another backward, another backward, then backward. Record again, and then it's safe. Ask the drone to land. Thank you, bro. The uh, video is then saved in the directory chosen. Uh, I chose this directory. Uh, if I play it, it shows uh, from the moment you you written record until the moment you, you, you uh, entered record again. Uh, in this Python code, which is the second code I've written, uh, we only need to um, uh, paste the directory path 
of the video that you want to do the processing of uh, for object detection uh, we're just gonna run it uh, there are some uh, functions that I added uh, for instance pausing fast forward uh, uh, back um, uh, fast back backward um, yeah stuff like that to pause uh, fast forward the video um, uh, backward or stops or pause or stops completely um, uh, there's something else that is really important is to, is to choose the confidence level of the object detection through YOLO v4 uh, and here this is the pre-trained YOLO model uh, that detects basic stuff like laptop, doors, uh, chairs, um, um, stuff like that um, so if we hit run running the code by, by typing that it shows here yeah that it detects the, the, the chair, yeah, and this is the confidence level beside it. Um, uh, the more it goes to one, the better. Uh, if we hit P, it pauses. P again, trans. F for fast forward by two seconds, another two seconds. Uh, yeah, it just detected a bottle over there, uh, but the confidence level is just low um oh it detected another another thing here detected a sink another bottle which is my hand washer <laughs> um yeah so that's pretty much it